Genji Monogatari is a historic romantic tragedy filled with love affairs, poetry, symbolism, double talk, and striking visuals. The main problem is that it might become boring or confusing unless you know what to expect, a problem I aim to resolve by the end of today's review. Genji Monogatari is an anime adaptation of a thousand-year-old Japanese novel about Hikaru Genji, a 10th century playboy who's irresistible to any woman he sets his eyes on. He's sensitive, poetic, attractive, and most importantly, he's royalty, so women can't reject him even if they wanted to. Although Hikaru is royalty, he's not of pure blood, so he doesn't have any real responsibility or power other than his status. This grants him the free time to sleep around with any woman he desires. As you'd expect of anyone living this lifestyle, he's basically a pretty package containing a plethora of emotional issues stemming back to his childhood. Because Hikaru's mother died at a young age, he feels incomplete without the love and affection of women. Sure, he could probably visit brothels, but it seems like the sex itself isn't what he's after. So instead, he likes to make women fall in love with him and leave, only to return when he desires that particular flavor of affection. Because Hikaru's lust knows no bounds, he creates drama within the court leading to complications for him as the plot unfolds. To understand Genji Monogatari, you'll need to pay attention to every line of dialogue as well as read between the lines to infer their intent. This is likely why many didn't enjoy the anime and rated it low on sites like My Anime List. They were unfamiliar with its origin story and didn't understand the dialogue. Although Genji Monogatari expects you to know its story already, it does a good job of conveying the personality of its characters and coherently progressing its plot. It's easy to understand provided you already know the basics and enjoy decoding symbolism. Naturally, I assume it only gets better upon rewatching if you enjoyed it the first time around. Regarding its presentation, Genji Monogatari was jaw-dropping. So much detail added to the characters, their clothes, and the environment. Each moment was filled with personality as leaves or cherry blossoms fall and hair or clothes blow in the wind. In addition, there were numerous lengthy scenes without dialogue that conveyed the tone through its symbolism. I felt its soundtrack was epic and perfectly matched the emotion within each scene. Overall, Genji Monogatari will be absolutely adored by half the audience who are prepared and know what they're getting themselves into and probably hated by the other half who go in without any prior knowledge. If you enjoy history, court politics, love affairs, poetry, and jaw-dropping 80s visuals remastered in HD, then Genji Monogatari is a must-watch. I give it an 8 out of 10. I think this is the perfect recommendation for those who enjoyed Heike Monogatari from 2021, but surprisingly, I enjoyed Genji even more. So if you decide to give this one a shot, come back and tell me what you think. If you enjoyed Genji Monogatari, please share this review with a friend so they can enjoy this true hidden gem with the right amount of information to understand it. Thanks to Nia-chan for a third tier Patreon support and to all who support these videos on Patreon and buy anime merchandise through affiliate links in the video description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon with another anime review.